Hey, hello, everyone. Welcome to the wonderful world of Ark and Submarine. I got the uh, Banco and the Pteranodon back safely. No problems there. I managed to get a couple of things. So I got a free gift, so I now have a Ascendant level Pike, which I really like. Got good durability and great damage. Uh, I also built a long rifle and a bear trap because I intend to go off and do a couple of pursuits here which are the, let's see, where are they here? Oh, Hunt the Terrorbird and Hunt the Direbird. And both of those creatures can be found in many places on the, red, uh, the Redwoods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the saber on the raft, and I'm going to head out, go out around this long peninsula, and go over to that second channel. It's right about longitude 40, and head up there, for some distance and leave the raft. Of course, that whole south coast of the Redwoods in that area is swamp, which is rather annoying, but it's the fastest way to get to the north coast of the Redwoods on the western edge where, western edge, where there are dire bears and tar birds in large quantities. So, the the saber is all stocked up with goodies. Okay, got a couple of sleeping bags in here. I'm going to have those, plus I've got my smithy and forge up on the second floor there. Got the fireplace. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of the long rifle because it takes so long to reload. And uh, I had to make a sword to qualify for the terror bird hunt. But uh, actually, I could use the saber tooth for the hunt for the terror birds. So I don't have to fool around with uh, trying to hack them up with a sword or shoot them. Although the uh, pike, now that I've gotten it, the ascendant pike would work quite well for terror birds. <laughs> actually, also for the dire bears. They'll have to be careful because dire bears are very fast when they get rolling. And higher level ones are quite dangerous. I'll get, I'll get back to you when I get myself situated with the raft and get on the saber and ready to head over to the Redwoods. Okay, that was a pretty short trip. Here is where I am. What I'm going to do is go over here on the beach with the raft. Right on the edge of the swamp. And hop on the saber. And run over there to the Redwoods, which are a short distance away. I can skirt most of the swamp here by getting up here. Okay. Now, let me see if or not. Okay. Nope. What I want to do here. Okay. Good. I do have a sleeping bag there. So, now I can arm myself with my pike, hop on the saber, and off we go. Watching out for things like sarcos, who would love nothing more than to unseat me, poisonous snakes, who would like to knock me out and then consume me, capros, which would also like nothing better than to unseat me and then eat me. I'm not too keen to go directly through the swamp because it uh, has the potential of getting me infected with leeches. So prefer to avoid all those kinds of complications, if at all possible. Take a look around here. I still need to get up and around. This area. Let's see, where am I exactly? Okay. Need to get back over that way. Yes, there's the redwoods over there. really difficult to steer the saber tooth while I got the spear in my hands. However, if I jump off and jump back on, no, works out okay. Okay, let's get up around this way, avoiding the swamp as much as possible. Oh, go away, doll. Okay, got us a little meat for mistake, which is what I named the saber, mistake. Now, sweetie. Okay, we'll make 
Mr. Matt Dash here. And there we go. Pretty much unscathed, getting around by and through the swamp. Oh. Nothing like dancing with a couple of carnos. There's a carno hunt also. I'm not sure I can do that yet, however. So we'll work my way around here. Also make sure I don't get overloaded. Because I'm carrying a lot of extra gear. Let's see now. pretty much where I want to go, straight over this way. It's getting dark, unfortunately. Get around this little body of water. Well, what do I want to do first? A dire bear? I guess I could do that. Nice hunt. This rifle blueprint can be used for great effect. And what great effect might that be? A uh, journeyman long neck. Well, that's not too bad. Pretty good durability and damage. Of course, I can't uh, do anything with that right now. Yeah, I know. We're hurting a bit there. Doing this stuff with only hide armor is a little risky. Because things like dire bears can really tear me up. We got a whole load of pelt there. Well, the health is coming back. That's good. Let's head out this way. Along the beach. Generally in this area of the redwoods, there are also a fairly significant number of terror birds. And if I can get out here, ooh. So something else I'd like to get is a nodicarous. Get a Dodicarus for stone, because that will be uh, one of the next big things I want to do. Is come over here to the middle of the map and build myself up a good location on my favorite little spot there in the center of the map. Now this place used to just be crawling with the uh, terror birds. I don't know the uh, the updates on the game seem to have shifted the areas of spawning animals around a bit. Seems like at one time, if I came out there on that stretch of beach, I'd have had a half a dozen terror birds on me in no time flat. But for some reason, their numbers seem to have diminished in this area. And all we can do is look around and see if we can't find some. Because I often like to be able to find at least two or three in one area before I enable that pursuit. Otherwise, I've got to run all over the place looking for them. over there. That's an aloe, I think. Chomping on a dodiferous. I'll leave those guys alone. Now where are all the terror birds? Of course, sometimes it takes a while for all the creatures to uh, start showing up. Because not every creature is out and about everywhere on the whole map at the same time. Especially on the mobile version of the game. Uh, could never handle the requirements. The memory requirements do something like that. Oh, here we go. There's a couple. Let's see here. We'll get the... Uh... There's one down. I gotta kill three. Where'd the other ones run away to? This is what I don't like about these hunt pursuits. Because as soon as you enact the pursuit, all the animals you're supposed to pursue 
run away and hide. Oh, it's the Emperlovia. Getting hard to see here. Okay. Got a level up. Now I can't see anything. It's dark and raining. I just have to go somewhere and hide until sunrise. Just trying to hunt something. In these conditions, it's extraordinarily difficult. Let's see if I can't get up here on a rock and hide out until sunrise. Okay, well, it's just about sunrise, and there's the last terror bird that I had to kill for my pursuit. I went out and started looking for him. It was so hard, it was so dark still, I could hardly see anything. Let's see, it's still quite difficult to see. Oops, a level 135 Rex, huh? Oh, I gotta get out of here, dude. Ah! I got killed it. Hmm, this is not good. Can I go back and get my kitty cat before it gets dead? to fix all my gear if I can all my armor before I head back over that way see if I haven't got enough stuff into smithy Let's see. Kind of hate going through the swamp with the boat or the raft. But it's the fastest way to get over there. I don't like doing that when I've got a creature in the pen because the rocks and the trees and such tend to drag the creatures out of the taming pen area of the boat or the raft. But since I'm here by myself, that should not be a problem, I hope. Yeah, running through here on foot is not a good idea. But rather than running around all of the outskirts of the swamp area, come across with the raft directly is the fastest alternative. Because now I still got to get all the way across back to where my body is and hopefully be able to get my saber tooth back. Hopefully to get munched by that uh, Rex. The joys of cross-country running. In the world of Arco, this is much better. Wide open spaces, comparatively. I know the sword that I got has got more damage, but the pike has got more reach. So in that sense... It's a little safer. Where am I? Where am I going? Okay. Over that way again. Yeah, there's a volcano. I should be down here on the beach somewhere. Lots of metal over here. There's the beacon for my body. I doubt that green drop has anything I really need. Now let's see here. Oh, I got another level up. I got to. Oh, don't 
kill me. Oh, kill me again. Oh, come on now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm going to have to. Let's see here. Okay, off we go again. Okay, here we are again. We've got two dead bodies. Where did that T-Rex go? And furthermore, where did my... Where did my... Oh, goody, he's still here. Where's my bag? There's my body. Okay, we'll do that. Mr. Airborne. You're okay. Put you on. Follow. How are you doing over here, mistake? Are you still alive? Okay. Health is down a bit, but you're coming back to life. Okay, let's head back to the raft, which hopefully will not be too hard to do. Pretty much right straight across here. Game is very laggy. Come on, raft, why aren't you showing up? Come on, Sabertooth, start running. This area of the map tends to be very problematic. You notice there are no sounds. Now it's come back. Oops. Head back down here to the edge of the swamp. Get on the raft and head back to the base. Let's see. Where are we? Back over this way. Get down. Now, where is the raft? Should be right down here. So I should have come pretty much straight across from the waterway over there. Okay, where is the raft? Should be right here somewhere close by. It's not showing up on my map for some reason. Very annoying. Where are you, raft? Get a breathing space here. Let's see if we can't get the hell out of here. Where's the raft? Oh, 
Let me get somewhere here where I can get rid of some of the load. Well, I guess I lost my Toronodon. Fortunately, I got a backup. But still, that's not good. Still can't see my doggone raft. Where the heck is it? It's got to be along here somewhere. Particularly unfriendly place. Well, that is the unfortunate circumstances of. That is the unfortunate circumstances of leaving animals on passive. That's why I lost the uh, Toronodon. I was hoping it would not engage and therefore survive, but it got attacked by those uh, dimorphs, dimorphodons. Okay, well, let's see. We can't get back through the base. And if we can do that without scraping the, uh, the saber tooth out of the enclosure on a tree or a rock or something. It's fairly clear going through here. Anyway, that'll be it for this little particular adventure. Not too bad. I got two upgraded weapons. Oh, come on. I'll lose the doggone. That's what I hate about going through the swamp. Okay, here I am, home again. Now my objective on this trip was to do two pursuits. This was hunt the dire bear and hunt the turbos. And I did both of those pursuits, and for doing that, I got the Ascendant Sword, not a blueprint, for hunting the terror birds, and I got a blueprint for a journeyman long neck rifle for doing the dire bear hunt. In exchange for those things, I lost one Pteranodon, which is not the end of the world because they're pretty easy to get, and I was able to retrieve the saddle for the Pteranodon. I believe, or is it? Maybe I lost it on the saber tooth, which I see. Oh no, that is okay. I do still at least have the saddle for joining me. There it is. 
But I lost my... Somehow, I lost the saber tooth tiger. Which is not really a good thing. The Pharanodons are pretty easy to replace. Somehow, I got the... The implant. Not sure how that happened. 